Oh. Hmm. So, you finally beginning to understand the true stupendor of this library. Yeah, because that's where Genocide Jack will be, because no one really knows her name. Or his name. Or if it's Toko, her name. The entire reason I was interested in the library is because of this room right here. Hmm. Interesting. Term, classified government documents, police records. Things no ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it that magnificent? This can't be for Such real, right? Ignorance. That's your guy's problem. Anything that doesn't fit into your preconceived reality, you label it a lie. Well, it's not that, it's just... It's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but... I mean, there's just so much. How could anyone have put all this together? I suppose it goes to show how... Just how much power hope speak truly wields, or perhaps... <laughs> the mastermind may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment for us to keep... Keep us from getting bored. Um... Mm. It's no use, I can't keep up with all this. It's just too unreal. <laughs> What's wrong? You still can't believe it. What about you? How can you believe it so easily? Things that... Things like that are usually impossible. What? What do you mean, usually? Usual, normal, ordinary, simple, those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. You don't pull your punches, do you? <laughs> Besides, what you consider unreal is based on your common sense, right? But what makes you think your own common sense applies to me at all? These documents gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them a couple of times, there is no doubt. But hold on a second, you're saying you've read all these documents, and more than once? But all this has to be, like, top secret, confidential stuff, right? So why... <laughs> My family has a reading room, just like this at home. Ours is bigger, of course, and not as dusty. <laughs> huh? Members of the Tagami family have access to a variety of government-related documents. That includes foreign powers as well as domestic. How is that possible? So, in other words, I already told you there's a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. <laughs> My family is a member of that council, and I have within me the bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the world to my will. <laughs> But to become such a ruler, I must know all levels of this world backwards and forwards. So whenever I have time, I like to review whatever documents and materials that interest me. This is why I proclaim about a dab that the materials go to here are a real thing. This is beyond believing or not believing. Biaku is actually starting to scare me more than the actual mastermind. Hmm. What always interested me the most were the cold case police investigation reports. Reading through those reports has always been a hobby of mine ever since I was little. It's an excellent mental exercise. I've solved more than a few of those cases just by reviewing the report. And among all those reports, one of my recent favourites is the Genocide Jack case. As he talks to me, I could grab this specific file from That's the right. This is the complete case file. Every single record surrounding the Genocide Jack cases has been compiled in here. Hmm. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize the main points. To begin, there are two notable characteristics in every Genocide Jack murder. The first characteristic is that at every crime scene, the word bloodless is written in the victim's own blood. And the second is that when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Blood loss is written in blood, and the victim's body is suspended. It's exactly the same as what happened to Jahiro. <laughs> Save your surprise, the best part is yet to come. <laughs> the second characteristic where the victims are suspended, the only ones who knew about that particular fact were the members of the police and other high-ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media was ever found out. Huh? <laughs> In other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knows knew about that aspect of the crime. Only key officials on the victim and the killer himself knew about this act of mounting the victim. Hmm. Now if you recall to her as corpse, her body was most certainly mounted in this fashion. So so how could a killer have known about suspending the victim? That's right. That's the key question. But in fact, the answer is quite so simple. In other words, the culprit isn't the copycat killer, it's the real genocide Jack. 
Jack. In other words, that's right. There is evidence that Genocide Jack has hidden himself among the rest of us. But then Genocide Jack really is such a brutal, fiendish killer. Really, is walking around among <laughs> us. Interesting. Hmm. Things are really starting to get interesting, aren't they? I never imagined a killer with such a reputation would ever become part of our little game. Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what I've already seen? You might just manage to ferret out a clue or two. If you get down on your knees and beg, I might even show you myself. Well, where is he? Just talk to him again? And be accurate about that genocide. Could you let me That's see it? Fine. Well, you didn't beg, but I guess it's okay this time. Feel free to look at it in here, but you can't take it with you. Bianca handed me the file and I flipped through it with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly my hand stopped. I had reached a page where photos from the crime scene, from the scene of each crime had all been collected. Right, so there's one instant thing that I can see that's different. Ken Hadra uh, had has scissors. Look, scissors in his all around in like a five pointed star, right? So he's got Well, I'm gonna guess from the picture on the left of Kim Hadra and the picture on the right. Oh wait, no, that is the same person, isn't it? Wait, is that that's gotta be a different person, right? I'm gonna say that that's two different people because they look different. And they're in different positions. Right, so. One on the left. Um. Says. So the one on the left shows that there's four. So you've got one on his shoulder, one at his arm, one in his, like. I don't know, tit almost, and then one in his left body. And then, I'm guessing on this one, that's what it's meant to look like, because it's more parallel. So, head, arms, tit. And then, if we look around here before reading this stuff, because I doubt it will actually say all of this. The murder took place in the parking lot of the victim's apartment complex. The victim's stuff suffered multiple stab wounds across each of his body, believed to be inflicted with the same scissors that were later used to attack the victim to the wall. What's, what's the other uh, crime scene word bloodlust written in victim's blood, I'm going to guess what it says. Scissors used in the murder were apparently custom made with... Oh, hang on. Okay, yeah. As with the other cases, yeah, yeah, basically that left bit is what's on the right as well. As with other cases, at the scene of crime, well, bloodlust was written in the victim's blood. Right, so that we've said, and we've also said about the mount, right? The scissors used in eat in the murder were apparently custom made. With every pair left of the murder scene seeming to. Okay. But it says it for two different people. So that's something that's missing in her pattern. Anyway. Name of Genocide Jack's victims ran on several pages. Ken Hadra, 32, Tick. Ketushi Hundo, 17. Shou Geku, 23. Kano Iti, 14. Takisha Yoshodo, Yoshida. 30. Komatsu no Toro Take Fumi Gono Ochem no Hasti Take Shimasu Yoto Yomajima 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 <laughs> It was <laughs> That's incredibly racist There was no end to it One thing came perfectly clear as I read All the kids can Countless victims were killed and suspended in exactly the same way. It seems each murder, the word blood loss was left in the victim's own blood. Hmm. But this is a missing. 
Now, we'll take a look at the next page and we'll find another interesting tidbit. Next page. Very frightening results. When the crimes took place even on weekdays at night, or during holidays, either day or night. The most common time for the killings to take place was on holidays in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it would be suggested that the suspect may be a student. Evidence suggests that the Evidence suggests that the suspect lingered at the scene, but when they did leave, they were in panic. Because an eyewitness had never come forward, it's unlikely there was ever there was an external reason for this. This confused behaviour suggests the suspect may potentially suffer from dissociate identity disorder. So much more personal. So in other words, the key point here is the culprit may well have a split personality. Split personality, like the kind of thing you see on TV. So I'm part of another totally unbelievable story. But this one is way more unbelievable than anything else to tell them. Which explains Tokyo, I won't let her get controlled again. As in, she's not getting controlled over my body again. Or maybe it really isn't. I don't know, I feel like my mind has gone numb. Genocide Jack case file has been added to the truth budget section of your hand. Let's go. Alright, we should get going soon. Huh? Where are <laughs> we going? Anywhere but here, we've finished our business here, haven't we? Oh wait, Bianca! As usual, Bianca turned and left with another word. I hurried out of the library to catch up. <laughs> well, this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of for a class trial. Huh? Just sort of a sudden like that. Come on, enough of your annoying misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? Take responsibility yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Well, goodbye. And just like that, he was gone. Just as quickly as he asked me to join him, he kept me off. In the end, I felt like I was just some plaything getting tossed around. But at the same time, I'd have uncovered some really important clues thanks to him. Genocide Jack. He's the one that killed Shiro. And Madras Feet is one of us. But who is it? I have to find that out, no matter what it takes. And to do that, Somewhere I have to go to investigate one more time. I have to go back to the crime scene, the girls' locker room. I should check for the boys' locker room too. And the others might have come up with some useful info. Some info I might find useful while I'm at it. I need to find out everything I can. Right, okay, so. Dude. Okay, so we'll do girls first, and then boys. However, what do you want? Da, 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 da. The fool we have to shop for them because we're feeding the idea to have a culprit. Mm-hmm. Another stealth increase for me. Evidence? What did you find? Mm -hmm. I cannot reveal. I cannot reveal that just yet. No, no, no. I'm sure but I guarantee you why I found we still to give his breath from his lungs. You sure about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Um, Lundenberg says she's a witness, something worthwhile, too. Really? What did she say? Well, if you would can tell me, he's trying to go bully the boy she likes, right? Right? Oh, you poor thing, you fool. Okay, so where is the last The warehouse, by the door, she was there for the same time, not there. What's it gonna be? Right, let's go right to left. Damn. I'm left to right even. Jiro's presence here was especially weak. A no body of soul. The target such a help as me is unforgivable what a wretched base who such a thing. I I cannot forgive this. Fuck you now that killed my throat. Don't trust bloody hell. Um... 
Oh, hang on, shit, shit, shit. Uh, it's a bloodstained poster. The blood is the most nervy part, noteworthy part, but the big breasted swimsuit model is pretty noticeable too. <laughs> a girl's locker room doesn't seem like the kind of place you'd find something like this. That's true. Hey, Kiyoko, do you have... Have you made any progress in your investigation? Said, generally speaking. However... If I have to get going, I have something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation? What is it? Well... Nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. But, but... So then... Before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Jahira's body one more time, thoroughly. Also, a handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. With that, Kyoko turned and left the girl's locker room. I guess I'll take another look at the body then. And Jahira's handbook is missing? That's definitely worth worrying about. Kyoko said I should examine the body one more time. I know she said thoroughly, but I do have my limits. Well, I better give it a shot anyway. Let's see. Chira's hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope. The rope was used to prop her up in a cruise fixed position. Huh? It's very passive plug. The extension cord. Don't be like we're saying about in the library. Wait, so then, this isn't the rope at all? But the more I think about it, the more that's not the only thing that concerns me. Chira's fatal injury was a blow to the head. Which means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her. That's right. That's the issue with her being suspended in a fatal blow. I personally didn't see any reason to think too much of either of them. Seeing them again after looking through the genocide file, something's not quite right. Oh yeah, killed in different ways. The victim stubbed multiple stabs wounds across his body, believed to have been inflicted with the same scissors that were later used to attach the victim to- Whoa! Not a blunt trauma. What does this all mean? It's a Genocide Jack copy. So, Genocide Jack could be Togo, probably is Togo, but Togo wasn't a killer. The status of the dead body is being added to the truth, but it's actually your handbook. Well, the, other, the one thing most likely to tie all these mysteries together is the true nature of the rape that was used to spend to hear it. Let's figure out that there's a certain place I need to revisit and look over again. This might help to look over the Genocide Jack case file one more time. Right, that's the library, but we won't go there yet. So we need to go to the library at the end of it. Dude, they're the real Oh, yep. Yeah. I talked to you already about this. Yeah! Yeah! Right, that's everything. So let's go. Actually, hang on. I just want to double check that dumbbell. Oh, and the carpet. There's a blood stain on the carpet. It could only have been caused by Chihiro's murder. There's a blood stain on Dumbbell. Monokum, so. Dumbbell must be the word of weapon. Alright, so, boys, locker room. Let's see if we can get Monokuma coin. No. Nope. Okay, nothing on that side of the room. Okay, so those three. Let's do the monitor first. Huh? It's poster. There's a popular boy band called Tornado. Somehow it doesn't quite fit into the girls' locker room. Oh, but wait! That reminds me, the poster in the other locker room is. That's right, there's definitely something strange about this. At the boys' locker room, there's a poster of a popular boy band. In the girls' locker room, there's a poster of a big-breasted swimsuit model. Do the posters have been switched? But if they were, why? What reason could anyone have? Maybe I should talk to someone who knows a little more about the locker rooms. Okay, so we got to go back to Secura. There's a strange stain on the carpet. 
what is oh, can we actually go for the stain or no. Okay. Right. Let's go to to the Kala again. You spend a lot of time exercising the girls' locker room, right, Skira? I've used it nearly every day since it opened up. Sometimes Cena and I use it together. Okay then, let me ask you something. Do you think the posters in the boys' and girls' locker room could have been twins? I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't really say. I never paid any attention to the posters. I see. However... But there is something that's been bothering me about it, luckily. I see. You see, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. We have protein and mm. coffee? In the warehouse, it's not the highest quality, but... In the warehouse, it's not the highest quality, but... I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder with coffee and down the glass with it after exercising. Anyway, the other day I spilled some on the carpet. There's the stain! The stuff has definitely been moved. But the only reason you do that is because... Because she was killed in that other... Hang on, we'll put it all together in a second. Anyway, the other day I spilled some coffee some on the carpet in the girls' locker room and it left the stain. Stain? But I didn't see any stain on the carpet now. Of course. Exactly. I noticed it earlier. The stain has disappeared. I can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. Nope. But still, isn't it you only usually clean? As if there was never a stain here to be clean. It's because there was no stain. Right. So that right, so Jahira wasn't murdered here at all, which changes everything. Okay, so Jahira was murdered in the boys room, which means she used his card. Yeah, she used his card to get into the boys room. Which means it was actually a boy who killed her. And then I presume after killing her the boy either used the other cards or they used your heroes because now it's borrowing and set up everything in here including the posters the paint the dumbbell and bloodlust was written okay so that must mean that she wasn't killed here at all which means, because she wasn't killed here, but the wall hasn't been changed, obviously, that bloodlust was written after, which is not the crime scene. Which again goes against Genocide Drax. So the only thing that's doing this is extension cords, but it's not even extension cords, it's rope. It's not even rope, it's extension cords. So this is definitely Genocide Drax copyright. Copyright. Right, let's go to the library. Just so we can get that extension cord bit. So, which guy killed? Oh, actually, no, it could be a girl as well, couldn't it? Because we've got those other um, cards. Yeah. Of course you have. Oh, the library's right here. I'm being an idiot. Wait, there's a note there. Oh, shit, okay. No, it's not. It's a cord. Winning box is empty. Sanction cord was in here before. Yeah, that's the... Fucking clue, you. Uh. Hmm, it's around here somewhere. Huh? It's gone. Someone take it out of the archive? The only person who would have done something like that. I can't think of anyone but Bayaka. Right, okay, so now what do we do? Huh. Still more I need to check. Was 
There's a fake layer of dust on top of the desk. Maybe there's some kind of clue here, guess not. Hang on, so it won't let us leave. Oh, it's the lamp, isn't it? It's the lamp, and there's no extension cord now. How does the lamp point turn on? Oh, I see, it's not plugged in. The lamp's cord isn't long enough to reach out there from here. The last time I saw it, it was definitely on. It was definitely right here. Oh, that's right, Bianca was using an extension cord. But there's no extension cord here now. I wonder if... Okay, now we have to go and examine the box. I get it. Well, I just presumed it wasn't on because the light wasn't. So, yeah. I mean, what else? When a box is empty, the extension cord was in here uh, before. What? Hang on, what do we get? Truth but it wise on that though. Can we leave now? So that's what are you doing here? Is there else is missing? It is Most unfortunate. Going to ask me as I put talking but the way has it sucked my tin to you. <laughs> I will tell you and Actually. only you. Last night I saw her here. The hero was in the warehouse. Indeed? What, really? This was right before nighttime. Hmm? What are you doing out this late? Oh, um, I was just. Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. <sighs> she stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like yes, that, she was gone. Indeed. I assumed she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but it does appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly to the girl's locker room. If she hadn't broken her wall, none of this would ever have happened. <laughs> Get her to the serve, I suppose. So apparently, she went to the girls' locker room late at night in order to exercise without anyone knowing. The strange thing is, there was no trace of the jacket, track jacket, or duffel bag. So this said you saw what your hero carrying, which mean, which would mean the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. Here we go. So is that one I have to um, like, so, spend ages uh, looking for. I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's the moment you've all been waiting for. The class trial. You remember where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. Say a time bye. Begin a class trial or it's about to begin. Begin the class trial or what? The red door is right through here. Do you like how I walk then to make it more tense? 